welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and if you are new here, I am a new homeschooling mom of four kiddos. I have one going into fifth, third, and first grade and then my youngest is just about to turn two. And so if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that the core part of our curriculum is from Timberdoodle. So one of the really cool things about Timberdoodle is that you are able to either build your own kit or purchase one of their already um, um, pre-picked kits and they have three different levels of these kits and so Timberdoodle doesn't exactly um, publish this curriculum on their own but it's a lot of curriculum that they um, have handpicked for their um, kits and so then what they have done for us is they on their website they have an option to where you can go into a scheduler and schedule out um, all of the components of your kit for your kids' schedule. And so that's all kind of a lot to get out and to think about. Um, so in today's video, I am going to go ahead and um, bring you guys along with me as I set up my fifth grader schedule with the Timberdoodle scheduler. So without further ado, let's get started. So one of the things included in your Timberdoodle kit is going to be um, the Timberdoodle handbook and you get one of these for each um, level that you purchase or each grade that you purchase. Um, so this is my fifth graders since um, we are going to be going through his schedule and this basically goes through and let me and so this is what's included in the elite kit. Um, and so like I said, there's three different levels, so you won't get all of this in every single kit, but um, this is the Elite. And so then um, this tells you all about, so then on this side, this tells you all about this handbook and how it is going to help you throughout the school year um, and using all of the components in your kit effectively. And so then I also wanted to show you guys um, here. This is where it talks about um, the online scheduler. And so this is what we are going to be going through today online as I get my fifth graders kit put in. And so here, this is going to be a breakdown of what all is included in the kit so that you can go ahead and plan it out. And so I didn't purchase the Elite Kit. I actually didn't purchase any of the levels, but what I did was I went into the Elite Kit and I figured out what I wanted for each one of my kids. Um, and then I just created a custom kit for each one of them and that is what I purchased. And so it's really cool that they also have that option for you on their website. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go um, on here and cross out what I don't have um, so that when I'm inputting the information online, I can cross-reference with the accurate information in this book as well. And so there you go, guys. I have went through and crossed out all of the things that we um, that I don't have for the kit. And so if you can see this here, I went ahead and crossed off the history and the science portions, um, and then some of the other portions inside the other subjects. So the reason why I crossed off altogether the science and history portions of these items, I did not purchase them because um, we do use Gather Around Homeschool and I have full intentions on that, on implementing our Gather Around Homeschool units um, for science and history, but also because um, we have actually decided to sign up with Classical Conversations and they are in US history right now and so the history that is in um, the Timberdoodle kits is also U.S. history. So I just didn't see, I mean, there's no point in having two different curriculums. So I will just work in our Gather Around Homeschool units and our Classical Conversation work into our homeschool schedule outside of the scheduler. So the scheduler is going to be really good at helping me um, put all of this together as our core. And then I can fill in um, with the other things that I have for them with... Um, the rest of my schedule. I hope all of that makes sense. So now that I have talked way too much, let's go ahead and get into scheduling online. And I know this is going to be a little hard to see guys. Um, I wish I had a bigger screen for you. Um, that was a little bit more clear, but this is what I'm working with right now. And so I hope that this works out okay. 
So when you first get into here at the top, you're going to put in your student's name and on the side here it just has a picture of the kit. And so then you can put in your start date. I had intentions on starting our school year sooner. Um, I actually wanted to start here on the 3rd or here on um, the 10th, but I'm actually going on a trip um, on the West Coast with a friend of mine. So we are going to be starting on August 24th, if you can see that there. And then we are going to do a 36 week schedule. And so here is where you can input that. So it already comes preset at 36. But if you're going to have a shortened school year or if you are going to, if you want to extend this out even longer, you can go ahead and put that in there. And so then once you scroll down here, I, um, I can show you this really quickly. I just printed out this calendar here um, that I will probably put in a binder. And so I have already gone through all of the weeks and figured out when we are going to take our break. So I'm, so I have um, preset this for us to have six weeks on, one week off. And so this is where all of the breaks fall in. Um, and they aren't going to be exact because like during Thanksgiving, we're going to be doing school a week longer and then taking a break on the eighth week, which would be the Thanksgiving week. And then the Christmas break also falls a little bit differently. So these are just the breaks that we're going to have here. Um, they, this is just based off the um, six weeks on, one week off. However, if we, do, if we do decide on any vacations, depending on how things are looking with, um, you know, the circumstances right now, um, these I can totally move around if necessary. And so as you come down here, it will have highlighted, um, because it starts with the Leap Kit, it'll have all of these checked off to add to your schedule. So cross-referencing with my handbook here, I went ahead and um, unchecked all of the items that are not in my son's kit. And then um, I did check this here. This is a reading challenge for the Obsessed Reader. Um, if you don't want the, I don't really know the difference, so I'm going with it. But there is another option here that you could add um, for just the Committed Reader or the Avid Reader. Um, so I'm just going to leave it up, leave it at obsessed and then the math you see that my son will be using. And again, because you can customize your kits, there are other, um, down in the alternatives, there are going to be the other availabilities, um, that you have whenever you're customizing your kit. So like here, we're going to be using Mazdas and spelling you see and jump in, but the alternatives could have been, um, different levels of spelling you see, easy grammar, wordsmith apprentice, all about spelling. And then for math, some of their, some of their other options are horizons, um, different levels of horizons, and different levels of math you see. So everything is already what he has, and so we'll just go with that. So then here's his thinking skills book. Like I said, we aren't doing history with Timberdoodle, so I went ahead and unchecked all of that. Um, I do have the Mystery of History um, Volume 1, and so I went ahead and checked that to add it into the scheduler, but that's just something that I still haven't decided if we are actually doing this year or not, and so I'm going to put it in there, and we'll just see how the schedule works out. It's not If we're not going to do it, then I can just um, cross it out of whatever the scheduler gives me. And so then here's our geography. And geography is also something that we're doing with classical conversations this year. So I like that this is just um, a skill sharpener geography. So it'll just be um, supplemental to what we're going to be doing with classical conversations. And then again, with the science, we're not doing any of those. So I don't have any of those checked. He got both of the items in the elite kit for um, the STEM. So he's got his brain builder trio and the marble circuit. And if you bought some extras or something different, those options are down there. And then he does have the Cosmic Mission and the Watercolor for Young Artists and as well as the Stop Motion Explosion Kit. So I have those in there for the schedule. And this is something that I was actually really excited about because, because of the STEM activities and all of the other activities that you can do in Timberdoodle, I would struggle on my own remembering to get my kids to do them or even scheduling to put that in. So I was so thankful that um, this is all within the scheduler here and again if you bought other stuff there's the alternatives there and so then we scroll down here and I'm just going to double check that I have all of my curriculum 
and that looks about right. And so if you had any other courses that you purchased from um, Timberdoodle here in the Need More is where you could go and look it all up and add that, but I didn't. So then I'm going to hit Create Schedule. And then I'm going to double check that one more time. Looks good. And so I will generate, and there it is there. So I hit Generate. And then the schedule is here. Okay, and so now that his schedule has generated, I will try to zoom you guys in here a little bit more if I can so that you can see. Um, over here it says curriculum, and so he's got his language arts. There's language arts, math, thinking skills, geography, STEM, art, and history. And so then in the next column, And so then in the next column over, he's got the units and then units per interval. So it looks like for the Mazdas, subsections calculated, and so it's one to two subsections per week. Spelling UC level F, there's 180 daily lessons, so one daily lesson per day. And then jump in is 177, less 177 lessons, so it's two to five lessons per week. Daily six tray writing is one week's work each week, so that's five assignments per week. And then the reading challenge, that is a total of 104 books, so two to three books per week. And then math you see is a seven worksheet lesson, so seven worksheets per week. Critical and creative is 46 units, so that's one to two units per week. Skill sharpeners geography five is 132 pages, so that's four pages per week. The STEM Builder, Brain Builder, or so for STEM, the Brain Builder Trio has 166 challenges, so that's one to five challenges per week. And then the Marble Circuit has 64 puzzles, so that's two puzzles per week. And then for art, the Cosmic Mission is work on projects as desired, so one scratch board per month. Watercolor for Young Artists is 36 projects, so that's one project per week. Stop Motion Explosion Kit is 36 projects, so one project per week. And then the Mystery of History is one week's work each week, so one week's work per week. Um, and so I like that it really breaks all of that down for you there. So week one, 824 to 828. And then it starts with language arts, and because it has ha the units here, so there's um, a box here in progress for each unit. So as he goes throughout the week, he'll be able to check off to make sure that he did it. Um, and so then there's spelling you see, five daily lessons, and then so then there's five boxes. Jump in, five lessons, five boxes. And then reading challenge, because we chose the obsessed reader, that's three books, so three there. And then the Mazda's literature, so because we will follow the subsections and then um, there's two boxes there. So it says subsections calculated, calculated or follow the schedule in your handbook. And so we can take a look at that really quickly. And so here's that section in the um, handbook of the Mazda's literature. And so over here it also says scheduling. And then we would just read that. So it says that you have six units in the course. Um, each unit is further broken down into subsections that can be completed weekly. And so then it says, some may find it easiest to remember that a week's worth will often begin with a lesson in literature and include reading until you reach the next lesson in literature. So that's really nice to know. And so then here it says one subsection per week. So both sections listed are week one in this description down here. So, and then they give um, just some extra information about it. So this, like, this handbook is going to be everything for you for the school year if you have any um, questions with scheduling or tips and tricks or um, you just want more information on any of the items from your kit so that um, the handbook's really handy and so let's get back to looking at the schedule okay so then math was seven worksheets so seven boxes and then again with the stem brain builder five challenges marble circuit two puzzles geography four pages and so this is just um the week and so what i can do is i can actually print these out and put them in my son's binder because now that i have now that i'm seeing this um 
I haven't done my daughter's yet, so his is the first one that I'm seeing, and we're seeing it together, which is really fun. And so now that I'm seeing this, it's going to be really helpful for me to have all of their binders set up with their um, homeschool schedule routine and flow and this. So at least my older two can be independent when they're um, making sure that they've completed their work throughout the week and throughout the day, honestly. And so then there's week two. And so I'm noticing as, as I looked at the difference between week one and week two, so this is really interesting. So it really did break it all down. So we saw that week one, I'll finish telling you, so the geography was four pages, critical thinking two units. And then down here for art, it did watercolor and stop motion, one project each, and then mystery of history. But then when we come down here, because of how there was a difference in the um, the cosmic mission, because there's only one project per month, so then you have it added here in week two. So all of the things that they can check off. And this system is going to be so good for my son because he's a total list checker offer. <laughs> um, he does get that from me. And so there you go. That is going to be a full month's worth of work. And there you have it guys. That is the Timber Doodle scheduler and the handbook. And remember you get one of these with each and every kit that you purchase for every grade level. Um, and I hope that this video has been informational and has helped you understand a little bit more um, of what the scheduler is and how to use it and how helpful it can be. Um, I have actually waited a while to even get started on the scheduler because I thought it was going to be kind of a hassle. But it was so easy and I hope that you guys also see how easy it is. So definitely check out Timber Doodle's website. They have some of the best curriculum options and their kits are amazing. And so purchasing one of those kits and having access to the scheduler I think is something that you all will love just as much as I do. And if you guys liked this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and also please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here as a part of my community. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.